My name is Adam Schaefer and I'm an epidemiologist with FAU Harbor Branch. Now if you don't know what epidemiology is, it's not the study of skin. So don't send me any pictures of any weird rashes you might have. In fact, my aunt still thinks I study skin and uh, she really ruined Thanksgiving for me last year, which was then followed by no eye contact Christmas. So what I actually do is study the distribution and determinants of diseases over large populations. I'm particularly interested in the interaction between the environment, wildlife health like dolphins, and human health. Now what do dolphins, cats, and even fishermen have in common? Well, let's let the little voice in my head tell you a little bit more and ignore the fact that it sounds like a woman. Mercury is known as a global pollutant that can be released into the environment from both natural and man-made sources and accumulates as it moves up the food chain. This metal can cause significant neurological problems at high concentrations. Exposure is usually from the consumption of seafood, and scientists first learned about the health risks in Minamata Bay, Japan, when cats started exhibiting strange behavior and were known as the dancing cats. Unfortunately, they didn't find the cause until it was too late and thousands of people became ill. Fast forward a few years to the Indian River Lagoon in Florida, home to a resident group of dolphins. In 2010, scientists found mercury concentrations among the highest ever reported in cetaceans. That's a big word commonly used for dolphins, whales, and porpoises. While they weren't crazy cats, the levels were high enough to impact their health. Because of these findings, we wanted to determine if humans living in the same area were at risk. So we set out to sample residents and fishermen who live along the lagoon. We asked questions about what seafood they ate, how often, and where it came from. Then we took a small sample of hair in order to measure their mercury concentration. The true identity of our participants must remain a secret. The results showed mercury concentrations that were higher than the national average. Individuals who consumed seafood that came from local waters three times a week or more were almost three times more likely to have a mercury concentration above the EPA reference dose. This information highlights a need to develop interventions and target education about the risks of mercury exposure among the local human population. Well, just like the cats of Minamata, dolphins have the potential to warn us of public health threats in areas that are shared by humans and dolphins, areas where we use the same waters for recreation and fishing. So in that way, dolphins can serve as a sentinel species and give us valuable insight into an aquatic environment that we all share.